we know that winter is finally coming tomorrow and internet is filled up with all such information i'm really as much excited as you guys are and i'm really waiting for 14th of april and i really hate to read any spoiler so as a frustrated developer and also as an enthusiastic learner what i did is i built a chrome extension as you can see over here which hides game of thrones spoilers from any website that you are browsing the logo for this is the wolf as you can see over here i really like the house dark so once you install this if you are browsing any web page you can see this icon right over here which means that this extension is installed and let me first show you how this works a lot of spoilers come from facebook so i just checked out this extension how does it work on any facebook page so as you can see on the left side over here is a page loaded without my extension and over here we have the extension enabled so what it does is it tries to figure out if the page that you are viewing is related to game of thrones and if it is it tries to block all the relevant text and also blur the images as you can see over here we hardly can see what's going on but but having a look at this page on the right we immediately know that it's something related to game of thrones and we can close our eyes or close this web page i'm really happy to develop this and it really works well for me this is a page wherein there are all game of thrones spoilers as you can see the image is also blurred and so she will become the mad queen is no longer visible over here as it has become text blocked spoiler detected as well all right even on google i think it works really well like all the image suggestions are also detected and blocked the another thing that i love about this extension is that if you can see in google search over here in this variety.com gallery you can see game of thrones 24 i most devastating satisfying deaths and we have all the names john snow why great and the extension also detects that over here as you can see it nothing is visible over here uh, everything is blocked because a spoiler is detected and as you can see on games radar over here it has only blocked the relevant stuff so yeah i really love this extension like really it was really easy to develop so yeah um, this is what this extension looks like in practical and um, so this is a technical youtube channel um i myself am a software developer it's been around 2 years now and um so the most of the content at this channel is technical but i think because of game of thrones um the audience for this video might be not that technical so um i want to set the expectations regarding this video first so this was kind of a fun activity that i did and this is my first chrome extension i really wanted to um I'm really happy that I invested this time and I'm able to understand how easy it is actually to build Chrome extensions and um I'm sorry if this video looks very easy for you but I think the realization or the final product is really awesome and you should totally use it so I have published all the source code on GitHub repository so I will also walk you through that through that process like how you can get it set it up on your machine and um how you can figure how can you make changes to this and have your own game of thrones extension for google chrome so i'm really going to keep this video really very very easy to understand just because of the mixed audience that we will be having for this video and um essentially there are only three files needed for this chrome extension to work one is the logo that house that wolf logo as you can see over here one is that file so one is, one file is about the house stark logo and um the other is this manifestation file that you can see in front um it's a file which is mandatory for any google chrome extension to work and why is it needed is nothing but when you submit your chrome extension to google chrome what it does is it, it looks for this manifest.json file in the folder that you have submitted to google chrome and it extracts out the relevant information like as you can see the name of the google chrome extension in this case hide got spoilers what is the description like trying to save you from game of thrones spoilers and that's what is visible over here as well then i also specified the version for this google chrome extension over here and in icons i have basically submitted i have told google chrome to use this icon start.png which is one of the three files that i have mentioned and then here is some content scripts wherein i what i am telling over here is that run this google chrome extension on all websites all websites that are running on http or https for people who are not from technical background um you can say that this google chrome extension will run on all websites so that we never read god spoilers at any place on internet okay then this js file is nothing but i am in 
I'm basically telling this Chrome extension that, hey, you will be needing jQuery and there is this hides wallet JavaScript file that you need to execute when you visit any website. I think you have already guessed that the main code which is doing all the work is in hides wallet.js file which is mentioned over here. And then what I am telling over here is, hey Google Chrome, just run this script at document end when everything on the page has been loaded. Okay. So, um, so this is one of the file manifest.json. We have walked through that. The other file was the logo, uh, the house dark logo of the wolf. And now the only file that we are left with is height spoiler.js. So let's quickly walk through that as well. So in the height spoiler.js file, I'm having a list of keywords. In this case, Game of Thrones, GOT spoiler in capitals, in lowercase and all those things. Okay. Um, and since we are talking about Game of Thrones, I've also put death, died and all these kind of variables also in the script. So um, for all, so for each such keyword, this JavaScript is basically parsing your HTML page that you have loaded. For non-technical persons, it parses the website that you have opened and it looks for the necessary areas in your web page, which are related to all such keywords. Once it does, this, uh, this JavaScript has identified that this part of your web page is having some Game of Thrones related information. Okay. So what it does is that it picks up this particular part of your page and then it calls this function height spoiler as you can see over here. Okay. So height spoiler is then given an argument of this particular part of the page where we think that it's related to Game of Thrones. And what this function height spoiler does is that it takes that part of page as input and it does some processing in that. That's it. Okay. So what is going over here in this section uh, it's nothing but we are parsing the different areas of our web page that we have loaded and we are trying to identify the parts which might be related to the keywords that we have mentioned above. Okay. And once we have identified such part, we just pass it to this height spoiler function, which is defined below on this 922, as you can see. And the only responsibility for this function is to basically hide the relevant text in this particular part and also scan a bit about the neighbors, look up for the images, look up for the list of spoilers perhaps. And if it finds any images, it blurs that down so that we can't really see it clearly. And if it finds some relevant text, it just, it just replaces that with spoiler detected text blocked. So this is how it's working. Nothing that fancy. And you can go through the complete source code on my GitHub repository. So let's quickly go to that. Oh, okay. So right now I have this Google Chrome extension enabled. So th it thought that this page is related to Game of Thrones and it tried to block the image. <laughs> That's I think awesome. Um, but let me first disable this for a while and reload this page so that I can walk you through this. Uh, don't worry about the link that's in the description. Uh, my GitHub user ID is Rachit IITR. So yeah, coming back, um, here's the readme file and here are the three files that we really needed. Um, here is the height spoiler.js file and here is the icon stack.png and here is the manifest.json file. Of course, we also need the jQuery because um, it's a JavaScript library for non-technical persons. It's something which we are using in this file in height spoiler.js file. So some of the functionalities that we have used in this file are coming from this file. That's it. Don't worry that much about it. Okay. If you have to make any changes, this is the file that you want to make changes to. Okay. On this GitHub repository, I have mentioned about the description of this Game of Thrones ex uh, extension. And here is the preview of how this works. Like it scans through the web page, sees that this is Game of Thrones related stuff and blocks that. And why this Chrome extension exists and can I contribute? Of course, this is open source and you can, and this is my first Google Chrome extension. So of course it's not highly optimized or not in a good shape. And if you will send any pull request, I will happily review that. Okay. So guys, I, another important thing to mention is that how can you finally use this in your Google Chrome extension? So you can go to the GitHub repository and once you go over here, you can see clone or download. I will say you can simply download the zip folder, extract that to some place. And once you do that, simply go to Chrome colon slash slash extensions. And over there, what you can do is on the top left side, you can see this load unpacked. Click that and, and simply navigate to the folder where you have extracted this GOT spoiler extension. Like over here, I have specified that folder as you can see, and that's it. You have to select that. It gets installed in your Google Chrome. So that's it guys. Um, this is how easy it is to install a Google Chrome extension. I never really knew it's so easy to build Google Chrome extensions. This is my first one, but I don't know. Um, <laughs> with a curious mind, I think a lot of things can be done and it's really fun to do all those things. 
So I hope you also learned how to build Google Chrome extensions and how easy it is to get started with it. Let me know in comments um, what are some of the ideas that you have in your mind. So guys, if you like this video, you should probably hit the like button. Comment down what do you think about it. Share this with your friends and I will see you next time. Till then, bye bye.